What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another luxury home tour. My name is Darren Kriz and today we are going to give you a full tour of this beautiful brand new model home right behind me. So specifically we are in the city of Porter Ranch, a very nice quiet city in the North San Fernando Valley in the Los Angeles County. And this model home here behind us is a Cahill Spanish colonial model and I think you guys are going to like it. The home features five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, 4,799 square feet of interior space, and it's priced to start at just $1.9 million. So looking at the exterior of this estate, you'll notice a lot of Spanish features throughout. You have the classic red Spanish tile on the roof there and walking up these steps in the pathway in the center, leading up to that front door, I do love these two water features to either side of me. So there's obviously a lot of beautiful landscaping around this front yard, and you see some in the driveway that will obviously get removed amongst purchase so that your cars can drive up without having to go through all those bushes. And on the right wing of the house, there's your two car garage. And on the other side is a single car garage and even more moat and water features to either side as we make our way to the front door. Look at this, guys. Be sure not to fall in, but let's go inside. And we have arrived inside to yet another Toll Brothers model. If you want to see more of these homes, click the link above, but check out this grand entryway with very high ceilings and a luxury chandelier hanging down from it. And I do like the wood beam details up there on that concave ceiling as well. To my right is one of the widest staircases you will ever see. Take a look at that. But before we go upstairs, we're going to take a turn to my left and show you what's this way. Immediately to the left is this office space. It's a smaller room, so it can serve more as an office aside from a guest bedroom. But I do like the sliding doors that open up and you see a waterfall feature here in the side yard with more plant life to make it private right here. Another nice feature in this office is the chandelier above made of a bunch of aluminum pieces, giving you a different vibe in here. Definitely a great place to do some work and just focus down in your office. But let's head out of here and show you this guest bedroom. Down this hall, making your way to that guest bedroom, there is a closet here for some extra storage of any of your coats. And right in front of that is a powder room. I love the countertops on this powder room with the innovative sink right there. That gives it a bit of a modern touch, aside from the Spanish vibe we see throughout the entire home. And I do also like the gray tiled flooring in here, making it a little bit more modern in this powder room. But directly out of this powder room, the first bedroom we are showing you guys is this guest room or in-laws quarters potentially. It's a standard room. There is a couple windows looking out to the side yard. You have your closet directly in front of me on the opposite end of the wall. And this room is en suite for your guests. So let's check it out. A couple of features in this bathroom are this beautiful large vanity, lots of countertop space, and I like this little backdrop right here with the linear narrow tiles that we also will see on the shower wall. Take that in. Just out of this guest room, something that makes it very convenient for your guests is that the single car garage door is right this way, so they don't have to bother anyone else in the house. They can conveniently park their car in the garage, walk out of the door, and go to sleep in their bedroom. Directly out of that hallway, we're finally going to go back through the grand entrance and show you the open concept living spaces of the house. This is your formal dining area with a chandelier above, and you'll see another one of those light fixtures as well in the living room. But you can have a table to fit up to at least eight guests. 
and it opens up from the kitchen, the dining area, and the formal living room. I just love that we have these pocket doors open right now, giving you that indoor-outdoor flow, but enough of that beautiful backyard. Let's just focus on the living room for right now. We've got a large flat screen TV right above the gas fireplace below, and it's all bordered with some beautiful limestone around the fireplace and the TV above. We've also got a quartz ledge beneath the fireplace to put any photos of family or whatever you wanna display there. Making our way around this living room, I do love the dark wood beams that we have throughout this entire open concept floor plan. It really adds to the Spanish theme of this home. As we keep walking this way, to my left is a wet bar with beautiful Caesar stone countertops. Just take a look at those. And above we do have a wine rack with lots of bottles of wine with windowed cabinetry. You got a built in fridge right down below as well. Okay, that was it for the living room and dining area. But before we show you the kitchen, I just wanna show you guys the beautiful backyard. So let's do it. Welcome to sunny Los Angeles. Okay, it's not a very sunny day today. It's a little bit cloudy, but summer is just about over. We're getting into those winter months. So honestly, I really like the overcast weather. But starting in this backyard, you see the large pool with a waterfall feature on the side flowing into that moat down there. And there is an elevated day bed up these steps. This is one of my favorite areas of the backyard. There is an awning above so that you can close it off. And if it's raining, you could still be up here and enjoy your views. This is one of those backyards that you'd never get bored with. There's lots to do from hanging out on this day bed to going over to that jacuzzi and then an outdoor built-in concrete dining area that I can't wait to show you guys. So we're gonna make our way down these steps, wrap around to the jacuzzi. I just wanna see what it looks like walking up these steps. You have a glass jacuzzi so you can see anyone that is maybe taking a dive in the koozie. But here we go. This is the most elevated portion of your backyard, so you do get those views when having a nice winter night. Finishing up the rest of this backyard, let's walk underneath this covered patio space. And here's another thing very interesting. Look at this chandelier. Now from a distance, it might just look like any ordinary chandelier, but it is made up of several empty glass bottles. Over on this side of the patio, you have your built-in Wolf barbecue grill. And to either side of the barbecue grill, you have a built-in wine fridge and then a built-in mini fridge. And as we keep making our way along this backyard, I already said that the daybed might've been my favorite part, but this might be a close second, if not first. It's an outdoor concrete dining table with this water feature seamlessly flowing in the center of the table. Just take a look at this, guys. What do you think about it? Aside from the table directly in the center flowing into this water area, there's lots of built-in bench seating out here as well in this corner and on the opposite side. And as we take a look on that opposite side, you look eye level at the jacuzzi and there's another waterfall that flows into these rocks down here. Lots of water features, just a very nice, serene, and tranquil environment out here. Moving back to the outdoor patio, we have these pocket doors opened up right now to the kitchen, which we'll show you next. We first arrived to this large breakfast table with plenty of seating for breakfast. You can either have your dining here or at that formal dining area. More of those beautiful Caesar stone countertops along this side, built in dark wood features in the cabinetry and the floating shelves. You have not one, but two center islands with a waterfall edge, sink in the center of this one. To my right, we have the six burner Wolf gas stove and a pot filler built into those unique Spanish tiles with the linear black strippings connecting each of them. That's something different. The countertops extend the entire length of the kitchen and I do really love the color scheme of this with the orange, black, and beige colors really blending the Spanish style of home together. 
And directly behind me, we have the two-car garage with a window door. This area could be a little mud room to my right. As you just enter the home, you put your keys down right here and you walk in through your kitchen. You do see those views as well. And to my left, we have a walk-in pantry. Showing you guys the rest of this kitchen right here is your dual wolf ovens next to your sub-zero fridge and freezer. And on the opposite side, we have your built-in wolf microwave and another little space with those Caesar stone countertops. Taking a look at the second center island with the waterfall edge, I do like this outside portion where you do have breakfast bar seating and it is at a curved shape so you can fit a couple extra seats. And above, look at these light fixtures. Tell us in the comments below if you guys prefer those or a more modern pendant look. Let us know. But that was everything in this first floor of this beautiful Spanish home. Let's just go upstairs. As we walk upstairs to the second level, again, notice how wide this staircase is. Have you ever seen one this wide in your entire life? I might have seen maybe one other. <laughs> but here we are on the second level landing. The second level common area is staged currently with a large pool table. And I do like how they can have it as a dining table as well with this cover piece on top of it. Over on this side, you have a dry bar with a built-in fridge, a couple of floating wood shelves above, lots of windows overlooking the front yard, and there is a large balcony out there with a door. You have a flat screen TV up on your wall so you can watch a movie maybe while you're playing some pool, challenging your friends. Behind me is solely the master bedroom and it is absolutely massive. You're not gonna wanna miss that. But before we show you that, we're gonna walk this way and there are a couple of other bedrooms to see. Right here is the very center of the home, directly above the front door. And you do have a little Juliet balcony so that you can overlook whoever's coming in. As I said, we're in the very center of the home. I like this curved area right here in this railing and you get a little bit closer to that chandelier directly above the grand entrance and looking up, you see those wood beams crossing each other and I think that gives it a nice touch as well. You don't see that too often with the chandelier coming directly from the center of it. But let's keep moving down this hall and there are two bedrooms up here. This is the first one. Now look at this bedroom. This would be the youngest daughter's dream room, honestly. There is a little mini kitchen down there. So she can just cook up whatever she wants for all of her stuffed animals. What a dream room. There are stairs leading up to the bed in the top bunk, a luxury chandelier hanging above the formal dining room in here. And it is en suite. Let's show you this bathroom. Beautiful bright white bathroom. I do love the tiled patterns on the floor and then you see that as well in the shower walls. And this one has a built-in bathtub. Vanity has some bright white countertops as well in a granite stone. But let's get out of here down the hall and show you the next room. Before we walk into the room, you do have a full laundry room to my left. And here it is. Now this room's a little bit larger than the other one. This would be for the sibling that's a bit older than your youngest daughter. You do have the closet to my left. Staging here is very nice. There is enough room for a desk right here so you can do homework as well while watching TV potentially. But right next to your TV is the full bathroom. A Little bit different finishes in here. You see some darker colors on this vanity. You do have another built-in bathtub in the shower, and I love the aluminum tile strips that pattern off with the gray larger tiles on the shower walls. Well, there's only one more bedroom to check out on this top level, and it's the master bedroom. As I said, guys, it's absolutely massive. So let us know what you think. Let's do it.
As you walk up the stairs and turn left, as I said, this is solely the master bedroom and you do have a great grand entrance with all of these large built-in shelves to my right. And as we keep moving, here it is. First thing I notice when I walk in, besides the views, obviously, is another one of those light fixtures that we saw downstairs on the first level, and all of these wood beams crossing each other up above on the ceiling, built-in speakers throughout, and a large flat screen TV up on the wall. You do have enough space up here to put your own couch to make it a semi-living room in your master bedroom. And there's also a large balcony that we're gonna walk out to now. Oh my gosh, this is nice. I like this weather a lot. It's a bit different than when you're filming in 100 degree weather. What do you think, Raul? Agreed. A little bit cooler. But yeah, this master bedroom balcony is very large. It's in a square shape. It overlooks your backyard and that outdoor dining area that we showed you guys earlier on in the video. There's a flat screen TV built in above this fireplace below. And I love the stone that borders this fireplace. We see that same dark stone on either side of the TV and fireplace as well, where you can use as a seating area or a display area. Okay, let's head back inside and show you guys the master bathroom and two closets. All right, before we go into the bathroom, we're actually gonna take a turn into the first closet. Very first closet, this would be the his closet, as even though it is very large, it is a little smaller than the second closet. So there's lots of windowed cabinetry, places to hang your suits, shoes. All the finishes in this closet are excellent. Take a look at these drawers. It looks like the outside of tree bark, honestly, or a large stump. And if you look on the backsplash of these countertops, there are actually several belts lined up together. And right above that, we have smooth gold cabinetry. And then these handles are of patterns that remind me of a cheetah or a leopard. And here is the master bathroom. We have the large freestanding tub in the center of the bathroom with three windows overlooking the backyard and the views of the valley, of course. We have dual vanities on both sides of the bathroom, and I do like these sinks. This is something unique that you don't see too often. It's a glass sink infused on the countertops. Gives it a little bit of a modern vibe in a Spanish house. And directly in front of the bathtub is a large shower. I'm gonna take a little walk in here. Oh, this shower bench is definitely built for sitting. It's one of the largest and widest shower benches I've ever sat on, honestly. I do like the stone features on the floors of the shower as well. And you have some large gray tiles on the walls as well as the ceiling in here. Okay, out of the shower, last but not least, the hearse closet. If you were looking for the toilet, it is tucked in this corner and there will be a door here amongst purchase, so it will be a private toilet room, but here is the hers. Definitely a larger closet. I like this center area where she can put all of her accessories and fine jewelry in the center. We have some more of those smooth finishes on these drawers, but instead of the gold, you get the gray colors on this one. Over on this side, there's some area for seating, a couple of windows to bring in some natural sunlight, just lots of space to put your shoes, clothes, whatever you may want. As we keep looking at this side, there's a makeup area in this corner with a large mirror. Vertical opening cabinets above. That do not slam when you close them, as you can see there. And as we keep moving along, just more mirrors, some more areas to put your finest dresses, shoes, as I keep saying, whatever you guys might want. What's your favorite brand of clothing? Let us know in the comments below. We wanna know. Thank you guys so much for watching till the very end of the video. Now, as always, Raul, let me ask you, what was your favorite part about this Spanish home? 
So yeah, one of the first things that I saw and caught my eye right away was when we got to the second floor and I saw that pool table and the fact that you could turn that into a pool table and a dining table was pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Yeah, that's something different. If you want to maybe play a game of pool against your friends, you can, or if you just want to have a nice dinner, you can cover it as well. And no one would ever know that it's a pool table, honestly. I would have to say my favorite part would be that outdoor concrete dining table with the water flow feature in the very center flowing into that moat area, that's really unique and that'd be a very nice vibe to have some friends over on a, on a cool night or a warm summer afternoon and just hang out by the pool, look over your views and just have a good time in your backyard. But let us know in the comments below what your favorite part about this home was and we'll see you guys on the outro. Well guys, we are back outside in my favorite part of the house, this outdoor dining area with the waterfall flowing down right here. But thanks so much again for watching till the very end of the video. If you did, please smash the like button down below. We really appreciate it, it helps out our channel a lot. And we're currently posting videos every Sunday and Wednesday, so put on notifications for those, and we'll see you guys on the next one.